I'll be showing 10 new time-saving functions in Excel. If you're a long-time Excel user, these functions are so helpful and they're really easy to use. You need to be an Office 365 subscriber to get them, and they're rolling out to Office Insiders right now. Link is in the description. So let's get started. The first new function, and my favorite, is text split. Split out your text super fast. So I've got all my addresses with commas here, and I'm gonna go here and do equals text split. Open parentheses, select the cell you want, do a comma, and now I'm gonna do the delimiter. So quote, comma, quote. So that's the delimiter, close parentheses, hit enter. It splits it out across those columns. Now all I do is drag this one down like this, and it splits everything out perfectly. Let's try some more. Here's a sentence, Michael Scott is the best manager in the world. I'm just gonna do equals to text split, choose the cell I want, comma, and then quote, space, quote, close parentheses, it splits it out all the way like this. And lastly, let's try it with names. Select Michael Scott, comma, quote, space, quote, close parentheses. Check it out. The second new function is another one to manipulate text and it's called text before. You used to be able to do things with left and mid to extract text. Text before makes it really easy to do those things. So I'll do equals and then text before, open parentheses, then select the cell you want. A2, and then a comma. And in this case, I'm gonna search for a delimiter. In this case, I'm gonna put the comma, so quote, comma, quote, and then close parentheses, hit enter. So what it does is it searches for all the text before the comma, so Ghent, and then I'm just gonna double click the square, it'll extract everything. The third new function is a reverse, which is text after. This time, I'm gonna search for all the text after a certain delimiter, and then pull that out. So I'll type equals text after, open parentheses, now select the cell, do a comma, and now I'm gonna add the delimiter I'm looking for. So add a quote first, I'm gonna look for a comma, and then a space, because I wanna take that space out, and then another quote, so that'll extract everything and just return KY comma Kentucky comma 4105, close parentheses and hit enter. Now it extracts just that part, just double click the square, and you extract everything. The fourth new function is VStack. So I have my office employees site one here and site two. I wanna stack these two arrays vertically. So I'm gonna go here and do equals VStack, parentheses. Now select the first array right here, site one employees, comma, and then do your second array. Here are my site two employees. Now close parentheses, hit enter. It stacks those right on top of each other there. The fifth new function is HStack. This time I wanna put the arrays side by side under this all office employees. I'll do equals H stack, parentheses, select the first array, site one employees, comma, and then select site two employees array right here, close parentheses, enter. It stacks those arrays side by side. This works with any type of data in Excel. The sixth new function is to call. I've got a set of columns here of my office employees and I will convert this into a single column. I'm gonna do equals and to call, parentheses, select the array of what you want to turn into a column. Select that, close parentheses, hit enter. It puts it right into a column. The seventh new function is to row. Let's say I just wanna take my top six people here and make that into a row. I'll go here, do equals to row, parentheses, select the six, close parentheses, hit enter. And now they're across in a row. The eighth new function is take. So I have my list of salespeople here and the number of sales they've been making and it's sorted. I wanna just pull out the top five salespeople. I will do equals take parentheses, now select the array. So I'm gonna select all my salespeople, comma, and now the number of rows I wanna take. And I'm gonna choose the top five, so I'll put the number five, close parentheses, hit enter. There's my top five salespeople. The ninth new function is drop. So I'm gonna do equals and then drop. What this does is it drops rows or columns from the start to the end, so I'll do parentheses and select the array, then do comma, and what it's gonna do is I put 10, and that means it's going to subtract the top 10 here, and we're gonna fire everyone else under the cut line. So I'll do parentheses, enter. Oh, there's the unlucky set of folks. The 10th new function is choose calls. This allows you to choose specific columns out of an array of data. So I have an inventory list here, and I'm gonna do equals choose calls. Then open parentheses, select the array. So I've selected all these, then a comma, and then you choose column number one you want, number two, number three. So in this case, I'm gonna select column number two, which is this one, and column number three, which is this one. So I'll do two, comma, three. And then close parentheses, hit enter. 
and it returns both columns right next to each other. So this allows you to extract columns out of all sorts of data sets in a really specific way, and you can select discontiguous ones or ones that are right next to each other, doesn't matter. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.